Peggy 18. We spent a long time looking for the right location for our next Flashpoint game. Tajikistan is the perfect combination of a real-life geopolitical hotspot that gives us the type of terrain, type of combat zone that we really, really want to push for an Operation Flashpoint title. You're part of a Marine force that's been in the area of Afghanistan clearing out insurgents and they're given the task to move into Tajikistan to, to deal with the insurgency there. So this time in Red River we've got two opponents for you. First of all you've got the insurgents who are really, you know, amateurish ragtag bunch using whatever weapons they have at hand, but then you're going to get to fight the PLA, the largest army in the world. They've got loads and loads of weaponry that is all quite modern. We've set it this time round in a, a valley, so all around you you'll see these fantastic vistas. Our game world is, is pretty huge for, for a modern shooter. But using the same ego technology we did last time, we've built on that and improved it. You're going to see the geography of the game world changing with you as you play through the different three-act structure that we've got in our game. But also the gameplay that you'll need to apply to succeed in those different environments also changes. That gives every level that fresh feel, something new, a different challenge. We've addressed a lot of the criticisms from the community within Red River by putting in new features. We've re-engineered everything from the ground up, especially around the gameplay. We've really gone to town on the gunplay, the first-person experience. We've spent a long time working on that side of the game. We've really tried to give a lot of personality to the fire team. We felt they were a little dry last time, and quite a lot of time they got used as cannon fodder. So we've got four distinct characters. They've all got background. They've all got their own personalities and their appearance. These guys are built for very different roles. You need them all for the different types of combat. You playing as one of those soldiers, you setting your AI as those different character types, and your friends playing as those different types will all influence how the game plays. You can change halfway through playing, if you're playing as a grenadier, to a scout, and it means you can start developing your scout character or come back to the grenadier. So there's a massive replay value to Red River. The player has the ability to unlock all sorts of new weapons, equipment. This allows you to customise the game more to the way you like to play. So there's a lot more depth there to personalise your character in terms of their loadout, the skill sets you achieve as you move through by gaining XP and developing your character in that way. And this means that guys who specialise in a particular class will get better not by virtue of getting some kind of amazing unlock, but because they're going to be able to just do those extra things that they just you know, couldn't do at the early levels of the game, or because they've calibrated their class just how they like to play. The as far as I'm concerned, Red River gets you as close as you can into the boots of a Marine.